Welcome to Qigong with Maria. Thank you for joining me today as we use the ancient healing practice of Qigong to support our journey through menopause. This is the third Qigong routine in this series. Today we're going to focus on the mood swings that accompany perimenopause and menopause. If you sometimes feel as if you are on a mood roller coaster, whether you're dealing with menopause or not, this routine is for you. Menopause signifies the end of our childbearing years and the hormonal swings tend to impact the nervous system, which can contribute to our mood. According to the wisdom of traditional Chinese medicine, menopause is not considered a disease or an illness, but a normal physiological process that occurs in women for the most part in the late 40s or early 50s. As a result of declining estrogen levels, we can experience symptoms such as mood changes, sleep disruptions, decreased sex drive, and even cognitive changes such as brain fog. Qigong provides us with a natural medicine option during this time of transition. In traditional Chinese medicine, this time in our lives is related to the decline of qi and blood. The kidney is the root of the body's reproductive system and our source qi. When there's disharmony in the kidney, it can affect other organs, including the liver and the heart. According to traditional Chinese medicine, the liver stores the blood and is responsible for menstruation. The kidneys are the reserve for the total qi or energy of the body, including our essence qi, which is known as jing. As we age, this essence qi declines, which leads to the changes that we experience in the body. Our goal with our Qigong practice is to focus on the root cause and balance the yin and yang of the body, primarily through the liver and the kidneys. And by doing so, we're going to alleviate these troubling symptoms. Join me as we work together to nourish our liver and our kidneys and balance out the mood roller coaster. Let's begin. Our opening movement is that we find our body in this position of alignment and relaxation. With your feet firmly rooted down to the ground, flat, shoulders relaxed, arms at your sides. Let's pull down the heavens by inhaling up the sides of the body and exhale as you pull the energy, the chi, down the midline of the body. As you inhale through your nose, palms face upward. As you exhale, pull the arms down the center of the body. Try to inhale through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Let's gently warm up the body, step out with your left leg and let's roll the shoulders. We'll roll them backwards first, beginning the circulation process, warming things up, releasing any tension and tightness that we hold in the body. Let's go the other direction. Breathe naturally as you do this. Feel the body warming up. By doing so, we're releasing lines of tension and tightness and remove any emotional blockages that may be causing and contributing to our mood swings. Let's next make big arm circles. Let's do three backwards with one arm. Let's do three forwards with the same arm. Feel a nice stretch in your torso as you do this. Same thing, other side. You can coordinate your breath if you want. Inhale as you bring your arm up, exhale down. One more, inhale up, exhale down. Now reverse. Let's add bounce into our legs as we swing the arms, bringing them out and in and out and in, inhaling and exhaling. Oftentimes when the emotion gets stuck in our body, it means our chi is stagnant. And this is a wonderful way to begin 
the breakup of that stagnation, pumping some chi through the body and stimulating the meridian lines to all of the organs. So this becomes a rhythmic movement. You maintain control, your body is in alignment. You're still connected down through the earth. You can slow this down or speed this up to your liking and just find that rhythm, find that pulse and just that circulation and flow of chi. Your body's getting invigorated as hopefully at the same time your mind is relaxing, releasing the tension and tightness. Let's just do a couple more of these. Very good, bring it back to center. We're gonna do a similar movement and this time we're gonna swing the arms. So let's raise the arms up and drop them down, crossing in front. You can inhale on the way up, exhale as they drop, add the lower body into it, just like we did before, that same rhythm, full body flow. Anything that's stuck in your body, any emotion, imagine that you are releasing that, that you are letting it go. You're pulling in fresh chi with every inhale and movement upward, and you're releasing anything that needs to be let go, anything that's causing a mood disturbance in your body, you're releasing that down. Let's just do a couple more. Very good. Bring it back to center. Take some long, slow, smooth, soft, full, deep, and continuous breaths. Checking in with your body as you do so, noticing where you're holding any tension and tightness, where your emotions might be getting stuck. We're gonna work through all areas of the body together in this routine. Next movement, bring the arms up to the shoulders and push them back. Let's add the lower body in once again, where we bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Pushing those palms behind you, finding your rhythm, inhaling, exhaling. You'll really begin to loosen up your body when you do these movements, which helps the flow of blood, oxygen, and chi. We tend to hold ourselves with so much tension and tightness and when our hormones are in balance and it's affecting our nervous system and our moods, we get even tighter. So take note where your tightness is and try on every exhale to let that go, to work through anything that is stuck. A couple more and last one. Very good. We come back to center, relax, take a couple of deep breaths. Next exercise, we're gonna step out into a wider stance. Lower your center of gravity, sink into softly bent knees. We're gonna cross our hands here and we're going to inhale and then breathe out forcefully. So let's keep doing that, inhale, exhale, Make sure that exhale is very forceful. Once again, we're focusing on the release. Your hands are covering the, the shoulders, and the muscles in this area of the body where we tend to hold, I know for myself personally, tend to hold a lot of tightness and stress and really release this. You are gonna activate with this movement, your gallbladder meridian line, which comes zigzagging through the head and the neck. And so you're covering up the gallbladder meridian and then letting out anything that is stuck or stagnant in that line. So this helps to release excessive emotion, frustration, and even some irritability and anger. When you clear the gallbladder, you are also clearing its partner organ, the liver. And in doing so, you're gonna clear the heat out of the body. The heat which causes so many disruptive symptoms that we experience during menopause. Bring your hands back. 
body back to center. Open up into a slightly wider than shoulder width stance. We're gonna work the left side of the body. It's as if you are going to bounce an imaginary ball right here. Inhaling up, exhale, push down. We're bending and straightening the legs as we work with our imaginary ball. You're not only oiling the joints of the areas that tend to get stuck energy, the shoulder, the elbow and the wrist. So that's gonna in and of itself improve circulation. But you're also doing this because you're using the acupressure points, the very strong ones connected to the heart and the pericardium in your wrist, your palm and your fingertips to release any emotions that are stuck in the body. So this simple act of bouncing an imaginary ball can help balance our mood. Let's do the same thing now on the other side, bouncing that ball, inhaling and exhaling. Make sure you flex the wrist, work through those joints and feel like you're really pushing something down. And what you're really pushing down here are the emotions, anything that's become stagnant inside of our body. It could be any emotion, whatever it is, it's likely impacting the balance of your moods and this is a wonderful way to work through that find your rhythm keep breathing keep moving let's try the same thing now with both hands very strengthening for the legs and the lower body very centering and grounded excellent for the nervous system while we press down and we use the jing points in the fingertips to release the energy the energy that's associated with negative emotions. Good, let's do three more. And bring it back to center. We're going to do a movement now known as embracing the storm. We're gonna step out into a shoulder width stance, arms spread across the body at shoulder height, you're gonna inhale as you bring one arm to the other, turning to that side, and exhale as you bring the other arm across, drawing a line across the body. We go back and forth, taking long, smooth, deep breaths, prepared and preparing ourselves for any storm that might cause a disruption, a disruption in our energy, a disruption in how we're feeling, and certainly anything that would wreak havoc on our mood. This movement really reminds us how strong and centered and grounded we are, how resilient we can be, and how we stay in this very strong posture. As you're drawing a line across the body, think of it as a drawing of a line of light. You're looking out across the horizon, at anything that's coming your way. We're not looking behind us and we are embracing whatever storm comes our way and getting through it with strength and resiliency and a little bit of grace. Qigong gives us that as well. Let's do two more to each side. and bring it down and in. You've released all of that stagnation. The next part of this routine for balancing our moods is to try to release any tension and tightness that we hold in our throat. This is especially impactful for women. If you tend to keep things inside and your voice isn't heard, you hold things in rather than saying what you feel, what you need, what you want, and so we're going to stand in a posture that's comfortable for you. And with the arms resting at the sides, we're gonna inhale as we lift the chin up and exhale as you bring it down. Be cautious if you have any neck issues. This is gonna help anyone that has experienced any thyroid problems and it's gonna help release any tension, tightness, emotions that are held in the throat. Anything, anytime we wanna say something and we hold it in, 
those words, those thoughts, those emotions get stuck in the throat. So this is a wonderful way to clear this part of the body. Coordinate your breath, inhaling up, exhaling down. It's a gentle micro movement. We're not forceful here, except maybe with the breath on the exhale to release the words and the emotions that are stuck. Anything that's been left unsaid, even emotions that you feel have been left unfelt, let them go. Use the imaginary release here. You can almost see the words coming out of your mouth as you exhale out the mouth. Let go of anything that's tense and tight. Let it go from the throat. Let's just do two more times of this. Inhaling as you tip upward, exhaling down. Last one, take a big breath and a really impactful exhale. Come back to the point of relaxation here. Let's clear the chi. Inhaling, coming in for a hug, pushing that chi down, exhaling. Pushing down and out anything that is still stuck in the body. One of the best movements in Qigong that is wonderful for releasing emotions is cloudy hands. We open up into a wider than hip width stance and we have one hand palm down, the other palm is facing the body and we slide across the body as we smoothly and gently shift our weight from side to side. By this time, we've moved so much stagnant emotion through our meridian lines. We've been forceful at times, trying to rid our body of anything that isn't serving us, isn't working for us. And this is a very gentle way to keep things moving, to find harmony in all the organs, in all the meridian lines, to train ourselves, especially once we've cleared out that which is toxic and negative, to just move here with grace and relaxation and flow. This is a movement that can be done every day, as many times a day as you need it. You can find relaxation in the meditation of this movement, the mindfulness. You can also find this very energizing because once you've cleared out this movement with its reharmonizing and rebalancing will give you back your jing, your essence, your vitality. Those clouds in front of you are fluffy and light. They're not holding on to anything heavy or tight. The other hand you can imagine is floating across at or within a very calm body of water. And you can use that hand to release anything that needs to be released into the water. Let's do a few more to each side, enjoying the flow of your chi. Wonderful. Come back, place one leg forward and the other leg back. Just like we embraced the storm before, this next movement, we're gonna part the clouds. We're gonna inhale up the midline and shift the weight forward as we exhale and bring the arms across and down. We're shifting forward. You don't wanna shift all your weight into that front leg, but you're giving yourself a nice stretch, stimulating the meridian lines in the legs for the liver and the kidneys parting the clouds and pushing anything that's been in your way, preventing you from feeling your best and living your best life, pushing that out of the way. This is another one of those movements that should feel like you can do it all day. It energizes you when you need to be energized. It calms you when you're looking for peace. When you come at this practice feeling overwhelmed, 
imbalanced and riding that mood roller coaster. Let's switch the legs so the leg that is forward comes back, the leg that is back comes forward. And the same thing, we coordinate our breath, inhaling as we come up and exhaling as we come forward. This stretch across the chest is good for the lungs and the heart. You can feel a squeeze in between the shoulder blades. That area is known as the area of 100 problems. So by squeezing that and using that exhale, you're releasing any tension and tightness that may get stuck in that area. Maybe there's some ang anxious thoughts, some anger, some regret, some sadness, some grief, whatever emotions are causing you to feel off kilter and off balance, we modify them, we invite in harmony and balance. Let's do one more. We'll close out with the same movement that we began with, embracing all the universal chi that's around us, that's accessible, that's going to bring us in fresh, vital energy and pulling it into the body. We inhale, pulling all that in, and we exhale, use your mind to lead your chi to where you need it to go, wherever you need to find healing, harmony, and balance. This is your chance to invite it in. Let's do one more together. Thank you for joining me today. It's been my honor to share this healing practice with you. I hope that it helps you to find that balance, that peace, that internal harmony, and to jump off that mood roller coaster. Thank you for sharing some time with me. As always, I'm wishing you well. Namaste.